Hello YouTube, how's everybody doing? My name is Matthew and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I recently just saw Ben TK's Europe video, 12 countries in 24 days. And guys, this video absolutely blew my mind. Like I'm so impressed by all the transitions and just the use of story in this video. I decided there would be a fun kind of challenging experience to try and figure out the effects that he used in this video. Now while I'll admit most of it was masking, there were some more complex transitions. In this video, we're gonna be covering the bubble transition, which you might've seen in the intro of this video and also in his video. So guys, also before we get into the video, if you've never seen my face on your screen, be sure Sure, hit that subscribe button you know we make some pretty cool content on this channel I'm a 16 year old filmmaker videographer photographer whatever you want to call it from East Texas and uh, yeah I basically just make these videos so if you want to see that then subscribe okay so without further ado I'm gonna quit rambling let's get into this effect so the editing software that we're using is Adobe Premiere Pro but mostly After Effects so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just drag our two clips onto the timeline so I'm actually using these two clips what I did was I cut it up from his video because I don't have any stock footage or footage of my own that would work with this effect. But to make the story flow a little bit more, what you're gonna want to have is like an actual bubble shot. So if we watch this, you can see there's a bubble shot. I'm actually gonna cut this clip just so it's a little bit more accurate. Really quickly, I'm just gonna pre-render this so it plays a little bit faster just so we can get that kind of effect that we're going for. So after I have my clips on timeline, I'm gonna highlight all of them and right click on the footage. We're gonna choose replace with After Effects composition. So now this is gonna take us into After Effects and we can start working the After Effects magic. Now for the purpose of this video, because OBS kind of slows down my computer, which is the recording software, I'm just going to make this maybe like a third or a quarter of the quality that it really is. So as we can see, we're just gonna quickly pre-render this footage and yeah, it's looking pretty good. So the effect that we want to use is we're going to go to effects and presets and we're going to look up turbulent displace. We're going to take that effect and we're actually going to drag it onto the footage. We're going to drag it onto this clip right down here. So I'm just going to place that on there. And as you can see, it does something pretty weird to the footage. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to scale in on this clip. I'm also going to go into my finder and find some black bars so that we can cover up that effect. And let's see, I'm going to use the Andreas Hem ones. We're going to go letterbox, 1080p, medium widescreen. All right, so yeah, that looks good. So what I'm going to do is actually go into this and I'm going to set a keyframe right here. You want to set the amount to zero. So enter in zero and there you go. And then we're kind of gonna get it to fade up. We're gonna set another keyframe right here by hitting that kind of a uh, stopwatch. And we're kind of just gonna make it really crazy looking. And it kind of just does that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the other clip, the bubble clip. And you wanna select this footage and you just wanna drag the turbulent displace on top of it once again. But this time we're actually gonna copy this turbulent displace. Now what we're gonna do is actually go to this clip now. And we're just gonna take this turbulent displace on the other clip we're gonna select that and hit Control C. Now go to your other clip, which is the bubble clip, and hit Control V. And boom, we got the same effect. But now what we wanna do is actually set it to zero right here. So we're just gonna drag this to zero. Boom, just like that. And I'm also gonna scale in on this footage so that we can kind of, so yeah, we kind of got that, that bubble effect in a way. What we're gonna do now is actually make it fade in. So what we're going to do is kind of just set a keyframe right here by hitting this little stopwatch, hit S on your keyboard and it will bring up scale and we're just gonna hit that little stopwatch looking thing. And I'm actually going to make this zoomed into the bubble and then I'm going to come back a little bit, maybe right here and I'm going to zoom out like so. And that'll look like this, so it's zooming out of the bubble, but we wanna make that smoother, so we're gonna select both of these keyframes. Right click on them, go to Keyframe Assistant, and go to Easy Ease. Once you do that, go to your graph editor over here, and we're going to hit on the dots, and we're gonna hold Shift on our keyboard while dragging these to the opposite direction. Just like so, we're gonna disable the graph editor by hitting this, and boom. As you can see, very smooth. I'm gonna set an opacity keyframe on this clip right here. We're gonna go to the opacity, and we're gonna actually set it at 100 there, and then go to the end of the clip and set it at zero. So now that very slowly fades it, I'm actually going to make it a little bit more slower by dragging that out a little bit more. And yeah, that looks good. Now to make this really realistic, we're gonna add some motion blur by enabling this motion blur by hitting this icon right here. And now I'm just gonna go through all the clips and enable motion blur. We're actually going to drag this over just a little bit more, like so. 
And so yeah, that looks good. It's really seamless and it really looks like it was legit in a way. Obviously this isn't perfect for tutorial reasons, but you kind of get the gist of things and hopefully you can create it. In any of the editing softwares, whether it's After Effects, maybe even Premiere Pro, I know there's Wave Warp in there, maybe even Final Cut Pro, or you could be like Aiden Robbins and use HitFilm. I've been Matthew and you guys have been awesome. I'll see you in the next video and yeah, peace.